So here we have a long decimal number and we need to practice rounding that decimal to a different number of decimal places. So for rounding to the nearest whole number, we find our units, look to our tenths, and because it's a one, we're rounding down, so we have 68. Rounding to one decimal place is the same as rounding to the nearest tenth, because our tenths digit is always the first digit after the decimal point. And if we look across to our hundredths column, we have a 5, so we know that we need to round up. So the 1 in our tens becomes a 2, so we have 68.2. Because if we're rounding to one decimal place, we'll always need only one digit after the decimal point. Now, if we're rounding to two decimal places, we need to find our hundredths, because that's always the second digit after the decimal point. Looking to the right, we can see that we need to round up, so we have 68.16. Now, for three decimal places, again we're following the same steps, but this time, we're looking at the third digit after the decimal point. We're looking at the thousandths. So if we look to the right, if we look to our ten thousandths place, we can see that we're rounding down. So we have 68.157. So you can see what we're doing. If we round to one decimal place, we're rounding to the nearest tenth, if we round to two decimal places, we're rounding to the nearest hundredth, and for three decimal places, it's the nearest thousandth. So pause the video and see if you can round this number to the nearest whole number and to one, two, and three decimal places. For the nearest whole number, we find our units, look across, and we can see that we need to round up, so we have 57. For one decimal place, we find our tenths, look across, and we need to round up, so that's one more in the tenths, so we have 56.7. And it's 56.7, not 57.7, because remember, digits to the left of what we're rounding to always stay the same. Now, if we want to round to two decimal places, we find our hundredths, look to our thousandths, and that two in our thousandths tells us that we need to round down. So we have 56.69. And now for three decimal places, we find our thousandths, look along to the next place value, and we need to round it up. So we have 56.693.